What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we've got a quick guide for you in Skull and Bones on how you can become your own opium dealer and how the smuggling and the helm works. Now this is a really cool mechanic in this game, it's probably one of my favourite parts of the game I've unlocked so far. Um, I don't actually know when it unlocks organically, I didn't do anything for the main story for a very long time, I just sat there farming materials and killing people. So follow the main story and before too long you should be told to visit the tavern now this is on St Anne's you can come here right now it doesn't matter how far you are into the game as long as you're at St Anne's you can come and visit and see if you can speak to her you may be able to unlock it sooner than I did Yanita represents the helm she is the top of the order at this location the helm is a smuggling operation where you take illicit goods which includes opium and rum right now it might get more as the game progresses you then sell that for pieces of eight and you can use that pieces of eight to buy materials named weapons um, furniture, tattoos, all sorts of really, really cool stuff in this shop. It's probably the best stuff I've seen so far in the game that you can obtain just from buying it. You can blueprints for all sorts of weapons here. So I would definitely get on this as early as you can. The storyline is sort of works alongside the main story. So you've got the main story, which will eventually tell you to go to a second quest hub. And you've got the same here for the helm. If you keep following their story, they will eventually tell you that, yeah, you know, you've done a really good job here. It's time to move on to the second hub which is Telok Panjara over here. So this is sort of the newbie area. Once you've done enough of the main story, it will send you here. If you also do the helm missions alongside the main story, you will unlock the helm here. So this one is the sort of starting helm where you smuggle the rum. The next one is where you smuggle the opium. Now the real trick to making a lot of money off of this in short time, or pieces of eight I should say, is to use them to compound one another. So when you first get the helm, don't go too crazy, right? Just do the basic missions and get to the second area as quick as you can. I'll show you why. So this is a helm. Um, your office might look slightly different. It upgrades as you go through and it's basically a supply and demand mini game where you are told that certain places want certain things and you need to make it and that's it. So in order to get the supply, there are a different, few different options. The uh, supply network is open relatively early on. You can either use the liaisons tab where this will tell you to go and pick it up. So there's some supply deals here. These are all daily missions. So I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab that one. And I'm going to grab that one. You can see here that all three of those are at the same place. That's sugarcane and opium. So do your dailies every day. Every day come on here and grab all of these. Um, I've not had any luck with the ones that say roving yet. These are moving targets that have your stuff. I've not seen them. I've not been able to find them. Every time I've gone there, there's been no one there. So I'm not sure if they're not working or if I just haven't understood the mechanics yet. That's the primary way of getting it. It's just a straight change of money for materials. You can also do attacks so you can go aggressive and go and hunt rogues. You can plunder forts. Um, again, it's best to sort of compound these things and do them all together so you keep a regular stock up. I've been doing my dailies and I've been able to outstrip demand with supply every day so I've not missed out on anything so far. So Alternatively, just when you're on the high seas, if you're attacking higher level targets, they will quite often have sugarcane and poppies, which is the two you need. You need sugarcane for the rum and then poppies for the opium. So whenever you're out and about, if you see those, take them out because it's going to be making you really cool gear in the long run anyway. So once you've got these supplies sort of in your inventory or in your warehouse, you then go to a distillery and it's the same. This is a distillery. The other place is a laboratory. This is where you come. So there's going to be a lot of fast traveling backwards and forwards, which does itself come with a, quite a financial burden. You come in, you provide your materials, and it will make it on a per time and per fee basis. So 15 seconds and five silver. It doesn't really, it's not really that expensive. I've made hundreds of these. It doesn't really add up too much. You usually make a lot of money on the high seas anyway. Um, so once you've made your stuff, you will then put it into your warehouse. And you can just leave it there. It's all good. So you're going to be swapping between this place and the other um, sort of central location that I've shown you here, sort of the next tier up of villages. You'll come to here. So you'll go there to make your opium. You'll then come back to St. Anne to make your rum. Now, why I say to delay doing this heavily is because once you get to both, you can make the same orders at the same time. So when you are making these orders, you cannot fast travel at all. It doesn't matter what mission you're on. If you have one of these order missions, you are not able to fast travel at all. So don't pick one of these up unless you plan on doing it immediately. So why I say wait is as you can see here, I've got white skull rum here. So that's quite a long journey. You're going to get attacked on the journey by a bunch of different ships, usually in groups of two or three, so make sure you're prepped for a fight. But instead of just the rum, I can now drop off the Blue Lotus Open. So this is four different orders here where I'm going to get 200. Before, when I was doing just the White Squirrel Rum at the start of the game, I was doing one order for 20 or 30 a time, so it was a lot slower grind. So follow it through until you have the second location unlocked, then stack as many poppies and as much 
uh, sugar cane as you can get your supply network built up so you've got a good supply of this every time you pop on you can whack out these dailies no problem i'm sure there's going to be more i'm hoping there's another another material opens up at some point but this is what i got for now so i just wanted to introduce you guys to it and then give you some tips and tricks but anyway, guys, nice and easy get what you didn't get back to the game if we helped you out today do like to subscribe really do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one take care now